Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to place a 3D object inside Spark AR. So basically you will see something like this on the plan and I, uh, I also export to my phone if you hit this button uh, on your lap uh, left hand side down here there's an icon and then if you export it you can pretty much see uh, the 3d model uh, yeah so I record it from my phone okay so let's start okay so let's create another one okay yeah, this file is a little big. Um, I will show you the link to get the file. Create a project. Okay, so let's create another new project. Then uh, let's go to add object, add plan tracker, insert. Okay, so you can see, you can press W, S, D, W, A, S, W A S D to move around. Okay, so this is um, the we have two camera. One is facing our face. Another one, one is doing the selfie. Another one is face out. So this one is pretty much I. You see, like I can do this one if I flip. Okay, I need to uh, change the this one so you can see. So this one is the, the selfie camera. Uh, another one is fa facing the front. If I click this one. Oh, okay, I have to put this down. Okay, so this one is facing out. Okay, so that's, uh, we, we've already had a plain tracker and that's at another assets from computer. I just download my previous, um, um, uh, 3d model that I created a year ago so and that one was really really big so you can choose whatever you want uh, basically I I import uh, FA uh, FBX then I put uh, my 3d model under the plan tracker it takes a while it's a big file yeah, I will add the link so you guys, if you want to use my 3D model, you can uh, use it. Okay, so basically this is a pretty cool uh, you know, race car and controller. It's a toy. Yeah, okay. So it's a little too small, so I would like to uh, like scale it, right? Okay, so that's scale it up a little bit and we can do the rotation but right now we don't really need to rotate and then we can move it move them around maybe a little up yeah so and we can also like uh, uh click the button inside the screen to see uh the place and then we can also you see like so as for the simulate touch, it's pretty much like testing out the interaction. So yeah, later on we will show you how to do the interaction stuff. Okay, so this is, uh, that's it. And then we can add some cool texture. So you have different shader. Okay, what's shader, what's texture? Shader is how you want your 3D model look. For example, like what color you want? Uh, do you want it to look transparent, or do you want uh, it look more like uh, shiny? So basically, I think uh, the material part, the shader part, is more like how you want your object look like. You want to make it look like a rubber make it look like a paper, make it look like a, a plastic, then the texture will be like like what texture you want to be put on top of your shader, 
So let's add a uh, texture. I just download it from Shutterstock. Okay, I will put, yeah, so basically I, ch I want to add a texture on top of this, uh, uh, yeah, on top of this material and shader. So let's take a look. So basically you can see like there are a lot of cool, uh, you know, like textures on top, top of your shader. Okay, so this is the one that I pre-record. Yeah, you can see pretty much. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you add shader, you should see like the shader on top of this uh, car. So yeah, so pretty much that's it. And then if you want to export it, remember to download Spark AR uh, app inside your smartphone. Then uh, please connect your smartphone with like a USB. Uh, yeah, connect uh, your smartphone to your computer. Then click, uh, click send. Uh, so you can pretty much test um, your app, like your scene on your phone. Yeah, so that's a pretty cool feature, similar to Unity. Yeah, okay. But you have to download the app first on your smartphone so you can use this feature. And you can pretty much export it if you are satisfied with your app. Uh, yeah, I think my file is a little big, so um, yeah. Yeah, so if you want to export the file, I think I probably need to make my 3D model file a little smaller because you see like uh, it's not really good. The performance will not look good if your 3D object is too big. Okay, so those are the the simple lessons of how to place a 3D model inside uh, uh, like a, a plane uh, inside Spark AR. Okay, so thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.